Hi, scholars and families, and welcome to Lion Tales. It's the legacy way to read for at least 20 minutes each and every day. We are so excited to be kicking off volume four of our Lion Tales stories in partnership with the Tulsa chapter of the Lynx Incorporated with the series that we're calling Representation Matters. We were intentional in selecting books that have characters that reflect the scholars who we serve at Legacy. I hope you are ready to enjoy our story today that is being read by our guest reader, Lauren Odom. Enjoy. My name is Lauren Oldham, and today I'll be reading The Day I Became a Lawyer. I chose this book because I think it's important to read stories with characters who look like us. Stephanie always has a big smile on her face when she comes home from school. She loves to learn and solve problems, but the best part of school for Stephanie is talking to her friends. So when Stephanie came home with a frown on her face, her mom was worried. Why so sad, Stephanie, asked her mom. It's okay, you can tell me. After a few sniffles, Stephanie whimpered, today was career day and everybody knew what they wanted to be, but I didn't. I see, said mom, being left out isn't any fun, is it? Well, tell me who came to visit. There was a scientist, veterinarian, firefighter, dancer, pilot, actor, football player, accountant, astronaut, musician, doctor, teacher, but I didn't like any of those careers. That night, Stephanie was so upset that after she finished her homework, she skipped dinner and went straight to bed. Her mom knew she had to do something to make her feel better, but what could she do? The next morning, Stephanie woke up from school as usual. She brushed her teeth, got dressed, and ate breakfast. As she started to head out to the school bus, her mom stopped her. I have a surprise for you today. Come get in the car. Excitedly, Stephanie hopped in the car and they took off. After driving for a while, they pulled up to a big building with busy people all around it. We're here, said mom. With big surprised eyes, Stephanie replied, where are we? This is the courthouse. Mom knows you better than anyone, so I brought you here to have our own special career day. Stephanie remembered how career day made her feel, so she was not happy. Trust me, it will be fun, said mom. As they walked towards the building, mom explained, there are many people with different types of jobs, and I want you to talk to all of them. When Stephanie heard that she could talk to everyone that day, she brightened up a bit. After all, talking was her favorite thing to do at school. As they walked in, mom said, we have to walk through the metal detectors so the deputies can keep everyone safe. The deputy sheriffs work all throughout the building and they're here to make sure everything is done in an orderly way. Stephanie liked this job because the deputies got to talk to everyone who came in the building. After all, talking was Stephanie's favorite thing to do in school. But this job wasn't for her. She noticed that no one wanted to stay for long. It seemed as if everyone was rushing to get somewhere else. As they, as they moved throughout the building, Stephanie saw and spoke to many different people. She met police officers, sheriffs, probation officers, counselors, administrators, and many others. While she was having a good time, she couldn't help but notice that everyone at some point had to go into one particular room. Mom, what is in that room? That is a courtroom, Mom replied. Can we go in, asked Stephanie. Yes, we can go, but you have to settle down and be quiet. Stephanie didn't like that because talking was what she liked to do the most. 
but she had to see what was going on behind that door. So she said, I'm ready. Then her mom let her in. Once inside, she immediately noticed a man sitting much higher than everyone else wearing some sort of costume. Mom quietly explained, he is the judge and that is what judges wear when they listen to cases. His job is to decide who is right or wrong. The other two people speaking are the prosecutor and the defense attorney. Their jobs are to speak for their clients. All three of them are lawyers. Stephanie noticed that all the people in the room were listening to them. She also noticed that they were talking and reading notes. The judge even stopped everything and opened a book to look up what the attorney was talking about. After everything was over, mom took Stephanie to meet the judge. She was excited and nervous at the same time. The judge let her sit in the high chair and handed her his gavel to bang. As soon as she yelled, order in the court, while banging the gavel, Stephanie knew exactly what she wanted to be, and so did mom. On the way home, Stephanie couldn't contain herself. After all, talking was her favorite thing to do. She told her mom over and over again that she is going to be a lawyer when she grows up. Stephanie saw that lawyers get to do everything that she liked to do in school. Mom, lawyers get to learn, solve problems, and they are always talking and everyone has to listen. Mom was happy too because Stephanie had her smile back. That night after dinner, Stephanie went straight to bed again, but not because she was upset. She went to bed early that night because she couldn't wait to get to school to tell her teacher and all her friends that she knows what she wants to be when she grows up, a lawyer. The end.